Hi, and welcome. My name is Peter Oakes. I am a full-time video blogger for my YouTube channel, The Breadboard CA. I'm an electronics engineer, have been for over 40 years, and I specialize in industrial control, home automation, and uh, basic electronics design and things at the hardware level, as well as a lot of software. One of the issues that I have seen repeatedly over the years is uh, you have students and hobbyists and uh, new engineers developing prototypes that are based on things like Arduinos, Raspberry Pis, um, various Arduinos like the Yun, the Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, uh, and other devices. Now, these are typically bought as educational development boards. The problem with these devices is that they are not UL, CE, or other uh, depending on your region, certified for use in industry or in the home. And without these certifications, you're not typically allowed to sell the end product. So in order to satisfy the need to take a product to production a, uh, and also to allow students to learn more about industrial control in the open hardware market and open software market, Siemens, in collaboration with RS Components, has developed an industrial IoT intelligent gateway that is based on the Intel Quark X1000 SOC processor and is targeted at the educational market. IoT 2020 fully supports Arduino interfaces as well as Linux-based programming and will natively run the Arduino sketches that you may have developed for your product and now want to migrate onto a more suitable and scalable platform. And what this allows you to do is to take your Arduino code um, based on using an Arduino IDE and pretty much drop it right onto this unit and run your code with very little or no alterations whatsoever. You can take uh, C code from uh, that you may have developed under a Raspberry Pi or a BeagleBone Black or even on the uh, Linux side of the Arduino Yun and you can port that across to this controller as well. IoT 2020 is also running Linux and Node-RED, Node.js, uh, MQTT in the form of Mosquito, as well as SQLite that will allow you to store historical data and other information to a file-based um, storage medium. So all of these things together allows you to build home or small industrial control solution. The device is quite happy to act as a gateway, aggregating sensor data, command data, and other information into a single place and then forwarding it upstream to maybe a data warehouse or troll solution or monitoring station. And also going the other direction, because it can run things like MQTT and Node-RED, it will be able to make decisions and share that, those decisions with other edge devices or you know, higher level devices. And those edge devices can be temperature, humidity, pressure, light sensors, and they could also be things like movement detectors and outside lights, for instance, to be part of a burger alarm. None of what you can see here is really certified to be sold as a complete solution. People buy them for educational reasons and they can learn all about them. And you can put them into packages and use them for your own purposes in your own home. But the minute you want to sell these things, they need to be certified and pass things like UL or CE certification. So what do you do when you've got your application up and running and you now want to make it into a final product? So what I've done is put together a, an example of a panel. I've got two of the Siemens um, IoT 2020 units here. This top one has got Wi-Fi built into it. I've added it as a module that can simply plug into an MSATA socket and the back of the board. The second unit is um, running an Arduino sketch right now, which has been programmed to sequentially output 
um, on and off on two of its pins, which are now connected through to two relays, which you can hear clicking away in the background. Now, what this is showing you is that both of these units, being CE and UL certified, um, can be mounted in a rack. The programs that you've written can be migrated onto them. As I said, this one is running uh, an Arduino sketch, literally, and this top unit is running Node-RED and uh, an MQTT server. And what I have uh, scattered around my home is a number of sensors. So I have one uh, outside which is monitoring the temperature at the back of the house as well as the humidity. And I have one in the main living space that is monitoring the same thing. And what I can do, because I'm running Node Red on here, which is perfectly easy to put in, I can actually bring up and have a web page like I'm showing you right now on a smart device that is showing me the temperature and the humidity in the living space and by and I can use tabs go to the outside and now I'm looking at the temperature and humidity outside and yes it is starting to get a bit chilly out there um, and this is all out of the box there's no software that had to be bought here it's all open source software um, the IoT 2020s can, uh, as I say, they come with Linux that you can download from Siemens and the core Linux comes with the capability already for you to upload an Arduino sketch to it. Now if you want to run things like Node-RED and um, MQTT and things like that, anything basically under Linux, then you just have to download and install them with the package managers that are part of the firmware. Um, the other nice things about these units are they run off of um, tip, you know, nominally 24 volts, but you can run them off of uh, 9 to 36 volts. I, um, this top unit I'm using a 12 volt adapter um, to power it. The bottom unit I'm actually using a DIN rail mount um, power supply to power this one. Uh, the output of this I've got can ultimately connected through these relays to a couple of main sockets. For anybody that is learning how to um, design home and office automation systems that are currently using Arduinos, Raspberry Pis and um, other educational devices that want to take it to that next level or if you want to go right off um, and jump into programming devices that are targeted directly at an industrial and home automation environment that already have certifications, then you would do well to look at these IoT 2020 devices that are exclusively available from RS components. Anyway, I've, now that I've presented these to you, I will be following on with a number of videos um, over the coming weeks and months to show you how to do various things, um, setting up Node-RED, um, and a number of other uh, projects that we can um, go through together and I can help you learn how to use these devices.